Well, meantime, Britta, Utah farmers are wading through waist-deep high water on their land. The incredible spring snowmelt has only increased the flooding potential. But on the other hand, the Great Salt Lake water level is rising from the runoff. Utah Department of Natural Resources Executive Director Joel Ferry joins us right now. Joel, good to see you here this morning. Hey, good morning. Thank you for having me on. So, Joel, I mean, there's are positives and there are negatives as a result to this. And I know that you have a farm right now that is four feet underwater, including a pumpkin patch. Have you ever seen a flood like this before? You know, we haven't. My, I'm fifth generation. My family's been on this farm for 125 years now, and this is just unprecedented. Um, so much water is coming down as it starts to warm up. The flooding is uh, is really impacting farmers, ranchers across the state. And Joel, what does this mean for not only yourself, but other farmers moving forward? Well, what we're looking at is, uh, you know, we've come off years of drought, and now we had just record snowpack this year, a lot of water in the mountains. We had over double the amount of wa snow water equivalent that we had last year. And so this is, uh, we're, we're going through some really tough times. Um, it's going to be impactful. It's going to have a real impact, and we're working with those farmers and ranchers to try to mitigate and help them out. So I know we've been talking a lot about on this program about the snow melt, and right now, because of that snow melt, it is now including some rushing water down the Bear River, all of this now flowing into the Great Salt Lake, uh, which is some good news there. So what impact do you think it's going to have on the rising water levels and also on some drought-stricken areas? You know, this is the one silver lining in this. Um, it's had a huge impact. Um, already we've seen Great Salt Lake come up over four feet. And when you talk about something like Great Salt Lake, it's only, you know, average 13 feet deep. And so you're talking about significant increase to the lake. And uh, we expect it to rise an additional two to four feet. It would be record uh, increase to the lake. Wow. And so that is a huge, huge benefit. It's going to, you know, buy us a lot of, of time, but there's still a long way to go with the lake. We're really focused on conservation efforts here in Utah, and we're going to continue to push that message and, and do what we can to make sure we manage the water appropriately. Uh, moving forward, how bad do you think this is going to get? Do you think it's going to get uh, worse, or do you think at some point it's going to get better? Well, you know, um, so far the, the snowpack, only about a third of it has melted, so there, we have a long way to go still. Um, we're looking at high runoffs for at least another three to four weeks, and uh, so... We're just getting going. We've, we've been having a, a big runoff for about uh, two to three weeks now, so we're about halfway through, and uh, there's there's still, you know, a lot of water to come down, and uh, it's all hands on deck right now with the state and with our local uh, emergency management teams, and then, you know, as we work through this, we'll get there. Well, Joel, I wish you and your fellow farmers uh, some success here. But, you know, as you mentioned here, you know, the silver lining is at least those water levels are going to be replenished in the great uh, Salt Lake. Thanks so much for joining us here this morning and good luck to you. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.